I want a divorce today because I found out that my husband was cheating with our neighbor, Koisha. I'm here today because I want this over with. I want a divorce from Santana. I found that she's cheating and I'm done. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Santana and Jamie met through a mutual friend in 2006, quickly hit it off, and later married. But now, after four years of marriage and one daughter together, Santana says the thrill definitely is gone. Okay. Now, Miss Flowers, you tell me why he's a cheater and a liar. Give me an example or a story example, that'll make me believe she's right that. here. She's the reason we're here. She was our neighbor. All I want to know is... I know who's You're married. in the car with the wife of the man that you're sleeping with. For whatever reason, don't you feel a little weird? Nope, I did not. And tomorrow, on this explosive two-part session of Divorce Court, what causes tempers to flare to the breaking point? And will DNA results prove that Jamie impregnated both women at the same time? She looks just like him. She does kind of look like you. She looks I got just two other kids, like y'all. Like well, do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. That's what I'm in. Mr. Jones? All this and more on a special two part session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Santana Flowers and Jamie J. Jones. Uh, the two of you have been married for four years. You have one child together, or maybe not. Uh, there is a question as to whether the three-year-old uh, Jayla is yours, uh, Mr. Jones, and as a function of that, we have had a DNA test taken, and we can resolve that issue uh, later on. Mm -hmm. However, before we get there, I want to introduce the other people in the courtroom. It's Mr. Vincent Anders. Good day to you, sir. Mm -hmm. And you are currently Ms. Flowers' boyfriend, correct? Yes. And we have over here Koisha Vickers. Good, good day to you, Ms. Vickers. You are currently Mr. Jones's girlfriend, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to work out how, how all that happened momentarily. <laughs> but before we do that, I want to start with, talk to Mrs. Flowers. You have brought your husband here seeking $12,000 mm -hmm. in transitional support, which turns out to be $500 per month for two years. And you're going to tell me why you believe you are entitled to two years of transitional support. But before we do that, however, I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your marriage, your relationship, and how we've ended up in divorce court here today. Okay. Well, I'm here today because I want a divorce from Jamie Jones. Jamie. Because he's a cheater. Uh-huh. He's a liar. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's controlling. 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 Don't control the just shut don't up. I didn't ask you to hey, speak now, to now, me. Ms. Flowers, Ms. Flowers, Ms. He's Flowers, speaking. we're I'm not going to do that in I'm here. Sorry. We, we, we've been I'm out here sorry. two seconds and we're already where we don't need to be. Okay. Now, Ms. Flowers, you tell me why he's a cheater and a liar. Give me an example or a story example? that'll make me believe She's right that. here. She's the reason we're here. She was our neighbor. You uh -huh. know, next, right beside so her. So you're talking Ms. Vickers. You're saying Ms. Vickers is her. what separated the two of them. Yes, you. because he decided that he wanted to cheat with her while I was pregnant. Do your job. Oh, I, I, I was doing my job. No, a cheater's gonna was. be a cheater. Oh, you can't have her. I don't well, care. Well, how did you find out about Ms. Vickers and oh, Mr. Jones's me. relationship? She told me. She told me. I found out. She's told me. Tell me. Tell me what happened. Okay. Well, one day, you know, we was we was at the house, and me and him had an argument because she was in my car. He was mm -hmm. riding her in my car because she was supposedly had a flat tire, mm -hmm. and she thought I did it. So he had to go pick her up. So, of course, I'm going to go off. I said, Jamie, why is she in my car? Oh, this is what I said. Why is that hoe in my car is what I said. I believe uh, you. Uh, she, she had a flat tire, and she thought it was you, so I had to go pick her up in my car. So if she thought it was you, then you guys must have been having conflict all along before this. You, she tried to be my friend, first of all. Explain Let me tell you an example. Happened? Okay, he got arrested for child support. Right. And he was driving my car. 
So she calls me and she said, well, Jay gave me your number. So she, he told me to come pick you up so you can get your car. So she came to get me and we went to go get my car. Mm -hmm. I was real mad. You know, my husband just got locked up. Right. And I was upset. So she came and she said, oh, well, I'll stay with you. I'll take you to go pick him up if you need it. Who did you think she was? She said she was a friend. But all the time they were sleeping together. But she said he, she was Jay's friend. OK. Mr. Jones, why don't you tell me your version of that of that story? Is that how it happened? No, how it she ain't. found out? He's a liar anyway. I call you say? You Ms. Flowers, you he didn't speak. He's a liar. You already know. You already lied already. Now, Mr. Jones? Talk to me. You tell me your version of these events. All right. When I got when I got incarcerated, I was told if I bring the paper down to showing that I pay child support, they will release me. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Called up Santana. Her phone cannot get any calls from the jail. I got in touch with Koisha and told Koisha. That's the only one we've spoken to. Santana was running to Koisha's house to use the phone. Yep. That's how I was contacting her. Okay. Now. Were you already sleeping with Ms. Vickers when the, all of this when, child when, support incarceration when the child thing support happened? Situation came about. Yes, I was already. We was already. I was that. So when they said both been of them were out there, you must have been scared to death. Oh, I didn't want to get out of jail when they told me. But when she told me that they're both coming, <laughs> I told her, Bella, hey, I ain't ready to get out yet. Now, Ms. Vickers, come on up here. <laughs> He's in jail. You want him out. You with him. He's married. You call her and get in the car with her. Don't you feel a little funny about that? First of all, I was never in her car. I had my own car. Okay. I never... Well, you picked her up. Because he asked me to. Right. I understand that. To but get you're her in car, the car because with... he needed a ride to work. I and get that. that. That's why. But, but, but it doesn't really matter. All I want to know is... I know who's You're married. in the car with the wife of the man that you're sleeping with. For whatever reason, whoever car it is, or for whatever reason you're in there, don't you feel a little weird? Nope, I did not. Didn't bother you at all? Not at all. When divorce court continues, does Jamie take love thy neighbor too far? When I found out that they were married, it was already too late. I don't slept with them. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Santana Flowers, who is divorcing her husband because she claims he cheated on her with their neighbor. And later, who's really the daddy? She calls me dad out of her mouth. In front of any and everybody she with, she calls me dad. I take care of her. Ever since I've been in that house with her and that child, I've been taking care of her. You didn't know they were married? No, ma'am. Did you not tell because her you were married? Because I thought she was just a roommate. When I met Koisha, I was a roommate. When I met Koisha, <laughs> I did not tell, tell Koisha that I had any other than friendship with Santana. Because Koisha did not know anything so she... about Santana. Liar. So, so, He's a liar. But when I found out He's a liar. that they were married, it was already too late. I don't slept with him. And was pregnant. Well, well you, you can stop, but that... that did, uh, what stop for what? I already know you slept with she him. Already, we already did this. It wasn't even no secret. My relationship been over. I was done with that. I guess my question is, I mean, I got a husband. We're in a house. We're in it together. There's no way I could have any dealings with somebody else and they not know that that cat is not my roommate. I don't know how you pull something like that off. Mm -hmm. did, did you really believe it, or you just wanted to lie? Did I believe he's a good liar? Yeah. He's I believe good that, liar. I believe that you know she was roommate. I didn't think that they really? were married. Yeah. My understanding is though that the two you had both of these women pregnant at the same time. At the when same Koisha time. Had, when Koisha told me that, Jay, I'm pregnant. Santana went to Alabama. Uh huh. Santana went and stayed in Alabama was over the weekend. Mm hmm. Came back. Now, Koisha was already prayed. Right. Santana told me, well, I'm prayed. At that time, I'm like, well, OK. I know how when I went to Alabama a couple times that I did with, with Santana, her family, they, are, they believe in being friendly. So they I'm like, what? they're friendly. I mean, they're, they, it's like the family members, you might have go with this person, but you sleeping with this one. What are you talking about? That sounds stupid. So, what, what I mean, I'm getting flirted Do on by family members and family members flirting with other people that ain't even you. with them. Ain't nobody wanted so you. you're telling me that where she's from, 
perfect. Everybody just, it's pretty much, everybody else. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy. Easy. Oh. So I'm like to the point where, okay. So you think she was down there engaging in that right. free-for-all activity? I didn't get that the benefit of the doubt. I didn't care nothing about it because I was to the point where I'm well, getting tired of it anyway. Her anyway. You yeah, are sleeping with her anyway. anyway. So then we got into an argument. Truth comes out. I'm got the, she got his friend. He's taking her to and from work. Okay, you get mad at me. Is that the friend? No, this wasn't the friend. It's another friend. Another guy. Friend takes her to work. She gets mad at me. I'm, I'm just kissing him. Well, you kissed him, ain't no telling what else it led to. <laughs> but you already had her pregnant, exactly. though, right? And I didn't care about her. Well, you should have you stopped it then and said you, we should have broke it off then. But and I took care of you, and, and when you, you told me you were pregnant, care of me. I was you mad about what I did. You didn't need to take care of me because you didn't have a job Ms. most Lyle, of the time. Let, let me ask you this. Wow. He didn't even have a job before, most of the time. Before Ms. Wow. Vickers, before Ms. Vickers, was things as rough as I'm he says they we were. Argue, we argue, excuse me. About what did you argue about? Because he thinks he know everything. He, you know, anything comes up, he knows about it. Let me tell you how big, big of a life he is. Now, when we first met, you know, he had about four cars, you know. You know, he was balling. He was like a bounty hunter. Just had this big job. And uh, when, when we got together, I said, well, where's your cars? Oh, my brother's got my cars. I, I'm not a bounty hunter no more. I got shot, and I can't do that no more. So now you're working at Renner Center. So how do you come from a bounty hunter to Renner Center? When Divorce Court continues, has Jamie been lying about his employment? Did you go from being a bounty hunter to Renner Center? I've been an accountant for 17 years. An accountant? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Jamie Jones and Santana Flowers as Judge Lynn tries to sort out their relationships. It didn't bother me because I knew we could grow up together. Right, but she was married to him. Yeah, and she had told me that first start. Right. So I said. But he was already sleeping with her. Yeah, we had. Yeah, yeah. Did Did you go from being a bounty hunter to renter center? I've been an accountant for 17 years. An accountant? An accountant. Oh. I went to college to be an accountant. He, he I did two he years finished. at accounting in BCC. When I got out of college, from the time I got out, I've been doing nothing but accounting work. I was married. To someone else all together. Someone all together. When I met Santana, I just got out of a marriage. Did you tell her you were a bounty hunter? No. Yes. What did you tell her you did? You told her you were an accountant? I was an accountant, working an accountant when I met her. Mm -mm. So where does this bounty hunter, bounty hunter story come He's from? A bounty liar. hunter, I wasn't. He's a liar. My best friend owns a, bond, a bondsmith. He's a bondsmith, owns his own company. Uh huh. Sound like when he's looking for someone, he always come to me. Jay, have you seen this person? Because out of the town we lived in, you know I was well known. Yeah. So you if, you need, if you need to find somebody, you nine out of ten, I probably already know where they at. Okay. So he calls me. <laughs> Miss Santana's problem is the whole family is where that's where they want to be, all together. And when they moved to Alabama, well, we were together. I done cheated already. But yet, I'm still taking care of you and yours when you're pregnant. Me she wants to move to Alabama. Okay, fine. She tells me she wants to move to Alabama. I ain't got a problem with the world. You come in every day, you fighting and fussing. You moving me, we don't move to two different apartments. What are you guys fighting and fussing about? Because, I, one, I'm not happy with her, but I'm not happy with her for a multiple reasons. Give we me a couple home, of them. We come home, you won't clean. But you too tired. But I'm gonna do everything. Does she work outside the house? Yes. Work at what side of the house? I if didn't work. If Santana leave the couch, I'll be surprised. I didn't work. You I'm work, and when you went to work, your, your co-workers complain because she won't I, leave the chill. Let, can I talk? Can I go I take talk? her lunch. Can I take I her talk? lunch to work. That was your job. The whole job. Was telling and you. When your wife she, don't work. When, when your wife don't do something. Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Andrews, come on. If I was in here, I wouldn't have at work. Right. Because he don't work. Mr. Anderson, how you doing, sir? Fine, fine. Okay, now you volunteered to join this crowd yes, I did, I at some point or another. Ooh. Why don't you tell me what you 
what her situation was when you met her or got involved with her. Well, when I first got involved with her, she was staying in an apartment in Alabama. I had just moved from Jersey to back to, to Alabama, to right. where, my, where my mother stayed at. So when me and her started talking, we got together, and the situation she was in, it didn't bother me because I knew we can grow up together. Right. But and, she was married to him. Yeah, and she had told me that first start. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said... But he was already sleeping with her. Yeah, we had... Yeah, yeah. When you got with him? When I got with him, yes. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, so... You, as far as I know. As far as you know. Because, like I said, she took a trip to Alabama. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. you might think it's his? What you <laughs> well, think? let me tell you, look. With a person that's willing to go with this one, Friendly as hell, why wouldn't I think anything else? Because you're stupid. That's you know oh, Miss Flowers. Let's not go there. Let's yeah. not go there. When divorce court continues, should Jamie's girlfriend be held accountable for sleeping with a married man? Before why are you mad at her? She accused me of breaking up her marriage. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? Divorce Court returns with the case of Jamie Jones, who wants a DNA test to prove if he is the father of Santana's three-year-old daughter, as Santana claims. Ms. Vickers, you seem angry. <laughs> and, and I want to know where that anger is coming from. What are you hot because about? she's talking about I broke up her marriage. When, when I found out her marriage was already broken up before I even got in but the picture. But while we were living together, while hey, I got in the on, picture. Hang on, hang on. First of all, yeah, me and him got together the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. When I found out he was married, I stayed with him because that's what I wanted to do. That was my choice. Right. I, I mean, I had already slept with him. But the part where she talking about, I befriended her, you I only it. did that. I didn't befriend her. I only went to get her and take her to her car because he asked me to, because that was their transportation. At the right. time, mine. Because uh -huh. after the fact mine. that we slept together That's and the only she mine. found out about it, me she and told her me. didn't sleep together. I told her, she said, well, won't you just leave her? I said, my problem is I'm married to her. And as long as she stays in Florida right. and I take care of her and she's pregnant, uh -huh. I can't just drop her off like that. I'm a supporter. She was like, well, what is she asking of you? I said, she wants to move to Alabama. I said, okay, I paid for it five times for her to go to Alabama. Did he gave you... me $60. <laughs> $60. Is that paying for me to go $60 somewhere? the last time $60. you went to Alabama. Six... He gave me $60 to move. Well, how often were, would, were you seeing her in Alabama? Did you know, was she going back and forth between <laughs> being with him and being in Alabama? No, she was already down in Alabama when I came to from Jersey. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I met her through a friend of mine that I knew since she was little, right. and she introduced me to her. Mm -hmm. So once I got with her, me and her was together. That was it. Mm -hmm. So by the time you met her, did she already have his baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she was born already. So by the time you had the baby, did you question whether or not that baby no. was really yours? No. no. Yes. No, you didn't. But you were there. I yeah. did my part. You did your part. Until she was two months. Until she was two months, and then and what happened? You went to Alabama? Months, I moved to Alabama. Moved Alabama. Let me tell you why I moved to Alabama. Let me tell you. Me and him were supposed to move together. He said, you know what, baby, we're not doing good in Florida. He said, your family is there. He said, you go live with your parents, and you get a job in a place, because he had a job. You know, I was on maternity leave still. So he said, you go up there, you set up, she and I'm going to come. He got a job. He, well, he, he had a job the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah that was the time he, he did have now. a job. He got a job now. Who talking to her? He got a, but I had a job, the same now. job she's talking I about. I had the whole time. But that time, he did have a job. You know, he was assistant manager at a big lot. That's I the mean, job he did. He had a job. The job he did. He had a job. Yeah, he had what? He had a sit. What? Oh How long God. did he have the it? When I he left, didn't have before you July left. to August. Before Why are you mad at her? Yeah, she mad That's at me. That's what I want to know. Hold on, hold on. Why are you mad at her? She accusing me of breaking up her marriage. How'd you did? did? How'd you did? did? How'd you did? did? And tomorrow on this special two-part session of Divorce Court. Why do these two men threaten to come to blows? And will Santana be surprised by the DNA results?